Hey guys. So here's another little part of this haul. Uh, this time I have a package from Soda Pop Studios. I just got it in the mail. Thought I would go over it before I start using the stickers in my spread. So here's a little freebie that came with this. It's on matte paper. Actually, most of these are on matte except for the one sheet. Um, I got some scripts to say therapy. I have some breakfast date scripts. Um, mostly because after shift, I work nights, so after shift sometimes uh, the officers or one particular officer. It used to be more, but they switched shifts. Um, anyway, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is that we go on breakfast dates after particularly hard shifts to eat um, breakfast. Um, then I have this award ceremony script. And my job usually does one annually, so I thought it'd be cool to have that. I have workout scripts, which I bought two of. And I'm honestly shocked that it took me so long to buy these considering I work out every day. Uh, next up, we have a no school script. And this is a smaller script than this one, as you can see. I kind of wish I'd gotten all these on glossy, but I have uh, also these church scripts. And honestly, I don't go to church right now. I'm trying to get myself back into the habit of going. At least on Sundays or Tuesdays to the prayer meetings. Well, I'm trying to get myself back in the habit of actually going back, um, but it's failing so far. Working nights kind of does that. Uh, I bought a pedicure script, manicure script. I feel like she has wasted space here. She could have added another row of them. And then these game day um, things. Then I bought a sheet of her, these are gymnastic girls. My niece does gymnastics and she's gonna be doing some comp like uh, competition, so I thought it'd be cute to mark it with that. Then I got these pregnancy. Can I fit it all on the, let's see. Let's see. I bought these pregnancy ones. And you, they're like a silhouette and then they have the little ultrasound right there. I'm not pregnant, but my friends are all married and having babies left and right. So I always like to mark things with them and my relatives as well. Um, and then the last thing and the reason I placed the order was for this graduation countdown. I graduate in two weeks or I have two graduations and one of them is this week. Next week I graduate with the other one or the main school one. Then there's the college one, whatever. So anyway, bought this for my planner. I'm going to be obviously back putting these in there because the time has passed. I think we're up to like this section of it right now. All right, and that's everything that I got from Soda Pop Studios. I see my hair right here. <laughs> All right, welcome to another part of this haul. I'm sorry for my voice. I'm getting over the plague right now, so <laughs> I sound a little congested. But I purchased some 2019 planners. 2019, 2020, because I have the school year planners. So this is what I ordered from Erin Condon, and I'm going to start with my not um, 
with my not yearly planner, I guess. Um, it came with this summer 2019, um, I guess, newsletter. Uh, and then it came with this label. And I'm sorry if you can hear uh, there are people mowing the lawn next door. Um, this label and this, what is this called? A, uh, I can't think. Uh, postcard, I guess. Okay, and then this is my... This is my, um, what is this called? The academic planner because the 12 month academic planner. And it, this is because I start grad school in August. And I thought that it would be wise to invest in an academic planner. Um, it just seemed like a good idea. So I got the Kaleidoscope Silver Foiled um, cover, which I can interchange with the other ones that I've bought before. I got it with the silver coil because I thought it would look cute together. And then, like I said, this is the 12 month academic planner and it's undated. It's 12 months and it's colorful. Um, so it comes with projects and exams. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those pages. And then it goes to the notes pages. And then we have the monthly, and then this is what the weekly layout, layout looks like. Um, so this is specifically just for my classes and my schoolwork. Um, I thought with grad school, I wanted to be a little more, like I wanted to have a place dedicated specifically to that. So again, monthly, then it has one, two, three, four, four, five weeks in each monthly, I mean in each weekly page. Then you have two notes, four, five notes pages, and then you have another monthly and it goes like that. And then it just switches colors and that goes for 12 months and every month the color changes. And then in the last month, just has the five notes pages then it has these stickers here which are exam test read study group no class vacation study paper due quiz and midterm and then some blank labels at the bottom in every color and then that's it. Then it has the back cover, which is like the kaleidoscope thing. Again, got the silver coil. So I'm looking forward to actually getting into this and playing around with it. So that's my academic planner for my grad school start. And then I'm going to get into my purchase for... Actually, I bought the the academic planner with points that I earned from buying Erin Condren and accumulating points for the past three years. So I had um, enough to buy a planner and these were actually half off. So I decided to purchase that. So I came again with the um, sticker and the postcard, the newsletter. And then this is what I actually ordered for this year so yeah this one came a little more <laughs> tore up than the last one 
So I ordered, I didn't order those. Um, what I actually ordered was this, this, and this. And then these are extras that came with my order. It's a pack of washi tape, um, some of these notes, 30 line sticky notes, which could come in handy either. I will give them to my mom who likes sticky notes or I will use them in my academic planner. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Then I bought these um, keep it together elastic bands in like the neutral colors. I already have a blue and a gold one. So, yeah. And then I bought this um, Starry Night interchangeable cover with what I usually get on it. And then my actual planner, as you guys can tell, is a neutral. It's a vertical neutral. I think this box is cool, I guess. Honestly, I'm going to use it more than the actual pouch. So, I'm going to like back, maybe buy three other ones for the past few years of planners. And then this is my actual planner. So it comes with the, this um, ruler that everybody's so excited about because it, it's more bendy than the last one and it doesn't, doesn't seem like it's gonna break as easily. And then it has a cool like gem stone type. I guess it's supposed to be a kaleidoscope but it kind of looks like diamonds in the rough i guess and um the other complaint is that it's much wider than it used to be like a full box size but now it's like a little bit wider some people like it some people don't i don't really use it so i don't care and then here's the actual planner and here's what comes with this oh uh, it comes with thank you cards um, some labels, the little hexagon for the box, little thank you cards. Um, some codes for for twenty percent off your next purchase, which I can give to my friends, and then what comes in the little kit and then this is the light planner i really like this this is so pretty i honestly do like the colors this year like just the muted colors not a, a lot of people are fans of the color from what i've watched like they thought that the but they're like really pretty look at that like muted I feel like it's still neutral I mean technically these are neutral colors um, and I do like that the tabs are lighter than they were so the biggest change comes here the dot grid page and then this page that used to be this or did they just add this part to it? Because I feel like this is what the notes pages were last year, and now they have this. Let me see. But no, yeah, it's extra. So these last year did not exist at all. I kind of dig it, but most of the time I just end up covering it up. The monthly, um, back to the neutral, which, you know, whatever. I like the um I like the colorful because it was like the most reminiscent of the old school. So this is 
the colorful versus well not this year's colorful but last year's colorful versus the neutral this year uh still very plain still with the stupid dotted lines that i hate but it's um And then it goes into the month. And um, they took the this part out of here and put it in the weekly, which I don't care about because I'm going to cover it. And then the rounded corners, <laughs> which are so weird. I don't know. I don't know who she talks to about this stuff, but I guess... So my biggest thing was I wanted to see, and then every month has that. They finally fixed this because it used to piss me the hell off. Let me see if I can find one. I don't think I can because I covered most of them. Where, um... It would go into, I don't know if I can, yeah, I've covered most of them off, but it really made me angry that every time the month would, like the G would go into the 2019, so that was the reason why I could personally not leave it out, because, I mean, that was just weird like why would they do that but it looks like they figured it out this year and they just moved the 2019 over to accommodate for the loops of things which makes i mean i don't know why they didn't think of that before but it looks like we're good i know there was like a week in august september that was like extra for some people. Let's see if it's in here as well. Maybe it was on the 18 month or the normal. But apparently there was like an extra monthly page somewhere. I think it was in August. But anyway, so that's how that goes. And it looks like every month is good in terms of the loop and the year. And I got the academic... Um, July to June. And um, they do have the half week. And then at the end, you have notes pages. You have one, two, three, three lined, one, two, two grid. Well, four grid. Then you have two coloring pages, um, this hexagon thing, which I don't know what I would use for, contacts, and then the 2021 calendar. Then you have the stickers pages, which are really pretty, actually. These are really pretty. Maybe I'll do some monthlies with these. These are cool. And then you have the labels plain labels and then they changed the pocket to be the double big pocket and then the perpetual calendar and that's the back of my planner so that is my little 
Erin Condren haul. So that's my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys. All right, so here's another part of this haul. This is a scribble prints called June Mystery. I just got it in the mail. And here it is. So this month, it is kind of a pool themed kit. And these colors are really pretty. And I think I'm missing like one or two um, summer kits, so it works out. This is what comes with the kit. This box is really cute. <laughs> Deco, the bottom washi, oops, and then it came with a few extras, the glitter headers, came with a scribbler sheet, uh, the 15 millimeter washi, the fashion girls, and another double box. And then it came with a wiggle, like a orangey gold wiggle. So this is for the bottom washi, uh, the little corners, icons and date dots, headers, full boxes, and then this other um, icon and little thingies. What are these? Like the little sprinkle deco, the weekend banner, the two flags. And that is everything for the June Scribble Prints Co. Mystery Kit. It's actually the last part of this haul. I thought I'm going to get anything else in the next day. So we're going to just make this the last part. Uh, this is my Glam Planner May subscription. And it is a like beach vacation themed. Here's what comes with this, a checklist, this functional page and two extra boxes. Some glitter headers here, check, hard checklist, um, more functional things, some deco and scripts. Uh, little things. I really like this color blue. Um, her headers and washi, and then her bottom washi. <clears throat> and then here are the extras that came with the kit. This month we have some fashion girls here. I'm going to be using her if I use this kit. Then it also came with glitter headers, double boxing. And this like coppery um, overlay sheet. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I gotta look through my kits and see if I have a week open sometime in the summer. Um, I also get the teeny subscription, so here's what came with the teeny subscription. We got some teeny and friends with sandcastles. We have some teeny and friends talking on the phone. And we have some Teeny and Friends birthday cakes. And that's it for this haul for May. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.